Hello, I'm Dennis, the former sailor turned entrepreneur and English coach. Welcome to What's That? In this and every episode, we'll be focusing on four words related to a specific topic and see if you can guess what's that by the time I finish sharing all the clues. There are four steps in figuring out our target words. First, definition. I will give you the dictionary definition of the target word. Second, mind map. I will give you several key words that can give you hints and help you guess the target word. Third, alphabet lotto. Through the lottery, I will give you hints about the first and last letters of our target word. Next, I will reveal the target word so you can check if you guessed it right. By the end of this episode, you'll have a better understanding of these words and know how to use them in real life situations. So, let's get started with what's that? Today's topic is politics. What is one of the topics that people say should never be discussed, but somehow always is? Hmm. In this episode of What's That? We'll dive into a topic that shapes nations and societies. Get ready, because we're going to unravel the mystery as we explore the intriguing realm of politics and see if you can guess what's that. Round one. Definition. A group of people who have the authority to direct a country or a state. They make and enforce laws, manage public resources, and provide services to the citizens. Mind map. Some related words include leadership. Leadership is the ability of a person or group to guide and influence others towards a common goal. President. A president is the leader of a country who is responsible for making important decisions and representing the country to the world. Parliament. A parliament is a group of elected officials who make laws and decisions for a country. Policy. Policy refers to a set of rules or guidelines that are created by leaders to guide decision-making and actions in a particular area. Alphabet Lotto. Now, let's play the Alphabet Lotto. I will draw two letters that represent the first and last letter of our target word. Here we go. G. So, our word starts with the letter G. T. So the word ends with the letter T. Can you guess the word? Go on, take a guess. What's that? Well, do you have any guesses? If you said government, you are absolutely correct. The government plays a crucial, a 
crucial role in the functioning of a country and is responsible for making and implementing laws. What's that? A group of people who have the authority to direct a country or a state. Government. Leadership. President. Parliament. Policy. Government. Government. Based on what we just learned, let's make a sentence that uses the word government. The government is responsible for creating and implementing policies that benefit the citizens. The government is responsible for creating and implementing policies that benefit the citizens. The government is responsible for creating and implementing policies that benefit the citizens. Let's move on to the next word. Round two. Definition. A system of government in which power is vested in the people who rule either directly or through elected representatives. Mind map. Some related words include election. An election is when people vote to choose a leader or leaders or to make a decision. Majority. Majority means more than half of the votes or people. Rule. Rule means the way a government or a leader makes decisions and controls a country. Minority. Minority means less than half of the votes or the people. Alphabet Lotto. OK, now let's play the Alphabet Lotto again. I will draw two letters that represent the first and last letter of our target word. Are you ready? D. So our word starts with the letter D. Y. Our target word ends with the letter Y. Can you guess the word? What's that? Do you have any guesses? If you said democracy, you are absolutely right. In a democracy, the power lies with the people, and decisions are made through voting and majority rule. What's that? A system of government in which power is vested in the people, who rule either directly or through elected representatives. Democracy. Election. Majority. Rule. Minority. Democracy. Democracy. So, based on what we just learned, let's use the word democracy in a sentence. 
For instance, in a democracy, everyone's voice matters and decisions are made by the majority of people. For instance, in a democracy, everyone's voice matters and decisions are made by the majority of people. For instance, in a democracy, everyone's voice matters and decisions are made by the majority of people. Okay, let's move on to the next word. Round three. Definition. The process of expressing one's choice or opinion in a decision-making process. Mind map. Some related words include ballot. A ballot is a piece of paper used to cast your decision or a candidate or a political proposition. Candidate. A candidate is a person who is running for a political office. Choice. Choice refers to the options available for a person to select a candidate or a political position. Suffrage. Suffrage means the right to participate in an election. Alphabet Lotto. Let's play the Alphabet Lotto once more. I will again draw two letters representing the first and last letter of our target word. Here we go. V. We don't see that letter very often. Our word starts with the letter V. So the word ends with the letter G. Can you guess the word? What could it be? What's that? Do you have any guesses? Any ideas? Any thoughts? If you said voting, you are absolutely right. Voting is a way for people to participate in the decision-making process and have a say in choosing their representatives. What's that? The process of expressing one's choice or opinion in a decision-making process. Voting. Ballot. Candidate. Choice. Suffrage. Voting. Voting. So based on what we've just learned, let's make a sentence that includes the word voting. In the next election, I will be voting for the candidate who best represents my values. In the next election, I will be voting for the candidate who best represents my values. In the next election, I will be voting for the candidate who best represents my values. Let's move on to the next word. Final round. Definition. The basic rights and freedoms that every individual is entitled to, regardless of their nation, 
race, gender, or religion. Mind map. Some related words include equality. Equality means treating everyone the same and giving them the same opportunities. Justice. Justice means treating people fairly and giving them what they deserve. Freedom. Freedom means having the ability to make choices and act without being controlled by others. Dignity. Dignity means being treated with respect and having the right to be valued as a human being. Alphabet Lotto. For our final word, let's play the Alphabet Lotto again. I will draw two more letters representing the first and last letter of our final target word. Ready? Here we go. H. So, our word starts with the letter H. S. The word ends with the letter S. Hmm. Can you guess what the word is? Make your guess right now. What's that? Okay, do you have any guesses? If you said human rights, you are 100% correct. Human rights are essential for the well-being and dignity of every individual. And they should be protected and respected by governments and societies. What's that? The basic rights and freedoms that every individual is entitled to. Human rights, equality, justice, freedom, dignity. Human rights, Human rights, so based on what we just learned, let's make a sentence that has the word human rights in it. Every person deserves to be treated with dignity and respect, and their human rights should be protected. Every person deserves to be treated with dignity and respect, and their human rights should be protected. Every person deserves to be treated with dignity and respect, and their human rights should be protected. Government. 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 The government is responsible for creating and implementing policies that benefit the citizens. The government is responsible for creating and implementing policies that benefit the citizens. The government is responsible for creating and implementing policies that benefit the citizens. Democracy, democracy, democracy. In a democracy, everyone's voice matters and decisions are made by the majority of people. 
In a democracy, everyone's voice matters, and decisions are made by the majority of people. In a democracy, everyone's voice matters, and decisions are made by the majority of people. Vote. 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 It is important to exercise your right to vote and choose the candidate you believe will represent your interests. It is important to exercise your right to vote and choose the candidate you believe will represent your interests. It is important to exercise your right to vote and choose the candidate you believe will represent your interests. Human rights. Human rights. Human rights. Every person deserves to be treated with dignity and respect, and their human rights should be protected. Every person deserves to be treated with dignity and respect, and their human rights should be protected. Every person deserves to be treated with dignity and respect, and their human rights should be protected.